Hi. Hurt my leg. <sighs> yeah. Why is your ditch clapping about that? So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here. This is Bazza here. And welcome back, guys, to another episode where we're going to be doing more reaction-based stuff to animated stories, I guess. Yeah, man. We found a real? new channel called oh. Onesie Entertainment. And they gave us permission to upload stuff, so yeah. we're going to do that. They have a crap load of things to look through. If I just scroll down this, you can see uh, that's in the last three months, they've done like 25 videos. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, that's 30 videos in three months. That's basically a new video every three days, which is kind of crazy, isn't it? That is, Especially that is. for animation, but yeah, we, we figured we'd check this channel out, guys. Uh, I guess if you want to see more like this or also check out this channel, uh, link in the description down below. That made no sense. It did. So if they want to check more out like this, I if guess it makes sense. If you want more actually. like this, that, that you check the link hey? in the description of below. Um, I rode with a ghost. Here we go, guys. This is story number one. I rode with a ghost. Check the volume. All right, we're good. I was in my friend's birthday party. It wow, was that voice. PM. Yeah, I know, right? After the party, I drove my friend to their house two okay. hours away, drive from the party we've been. When we went to what? their village... What was that English? Hold up, hang on, guys. <laughs> you go what? Back. After what happened? The party, I drove my friend to their house two hours away, drive from the party we've been. Oh, okay. I think he, he, he was meant to say a two-hour drive away from the party rather really, than two-hour yeah. drive away from the party. It's like the guy was given the script and he still does the epic voice even though he knows it's wrong. It's like Andy Field messing it up yeah. really bad. <laughs> when we went to their village, it's okay. a pretty big village. What? And most of oh, the God. owner is rich. I think this While <laughs> I was driving, there is a street there. Well, to be I think it, this might be a translation from a... Uh, like foreign, maybe a foreign one yeah, less than it in English. To, to, yeah. Let's enjoy it for what it is. Here we go. 500 meters long and is very dark and creepy. Okay. The car I was driving is a Toyota Revo. Important. It has 11 seating capacity. Oh, wow. And we are just three inside the car. Why are you driving 11? Past that creepy yeah. street, it's like the dude who wants to be popular. Like, look at my wagon. <laughs> a lot of trees that full of leaves and brushes. Brushes? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just my car headlights that give light on the road. <laughs> <laughs> no, hang on. They they messed up. It was meant to say bushes, but he said brushes. Full of leaves and brushes. There's no street. Wait, light. hold up. It's just my car headlights <laughs> that give light on the road. After we pass that street and I'm dropped them on their house and I'm just alone to go back. <laughs> Can I just say, guys? Hang on. The animation is fantastic, yeah. but the, yeah, the, the broken English just makes it. Yeah, amazing. I feel like the guy who's reading the script is definitely doing a precise job. Yeah. Can we just uh, can we just honor this section? <laughs> <laughs> Past that street, and I'm dropped them on the house, and I'm like, just alone to go back to my. Home. You can tell, like the guy reading that was like, "What the." <laughs> 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 you always make us scared, not yeah. laugh. Oh, man, anyway, here we go. I was scared because there's oh, there no go. alternate route. Okay. I really need to pass that creepy street in their village. Okay. okay. I have no choice but to be brave. Yeah, that's so, it. So, when I'm about to pass that street, it's okay. really dark, but I have what? no choice but to pass that creepy <laughs> street. While I was... Hang on, he keeps going. Keep going back. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how many times he says creepy street. No choice but to pass that creepy street. Okay. While I was driving on that creepy street, about in the middle oh. of it, suddenly I felt oh. cold. Put your, put your sweater on. My aircon temperature was not that cold. Okay. And suddenly, my back of the neck starts to feel cold. Back of the neck. That's when a confusion. I looked in my rear mirror view. I saw something sitting on the back. Oh, oh wow. good animation though. It's very good. It's a woman. And wearing white it's a clothes whammon. and red eyes. She's wearing I red was eyes. So scared. It was so on I drive too fast, and my car engines start making a lot of noise. <laughs> and so fast, there's a speed bump, but I didn't stop. My car started to slam its front bumper on the road when I drive too fast in the speed bump because I was. <laughs> I think we shook goals with this channel. Oh God, one's entertainment. I love your channel so much already. Oh my. Tearing up, man. Oh my god. So I'm okay, let's go. Until I reached the guardhouse office, I told the guards what happened, and they told me there was really a ghost on that street. Oh, because really? one time, there's a tricycle was passing that street. There was a tricycle. And someone woman asked if she could get a ride, so the tricycle driver let her ride. Did and he? She told the driver to drive her to the hospital. Did he? When they arrived at the hospital, what? the tricycle driver was so shocked because the woman she picked up he had was cheated. not inside the tricycle. And my friend told me there's a story on that street several years ago oh, man. that a girl was murdered. Oh, now that's dramatic. That Jeez. Because Jeez, it was yeah, a that's... lot of dark and tall bushes. What? So when I'm driving alone, I always ask someone to come with me during night. And I don't want to drive alone at night anymore because I don't want to see again someone's ghost riding again with me. <laughs> I just love 
<laughs> I was so damn oh, serious. It's fantastic. This is this is why you don't let a seven year old take control of a yeah. car anyway. What was going on with this? <laughs> they best all be like that. I really hope this one. So my invisible play that's the text you use, right? When I was eight years old, I didn't have any friends. Aw. My mom wouldn't allow me to play outside with the other kids in our neighborhood. That I sucks. Was always alone. <laughs> <laughs> the only playmates I had were my cousins and my brother, but it took three hours and 25 minutes to get to their houses. Okay, this Lame. is better English. Yeah. Really good. Okay, my mom let me play outside with the kids in our neighborhood for the first time because nice. she was going somewhere. Maybe Look at Splatoon Island poster. Parents. Wow. I got my dolls and other toys and was excited to play with the kids outside. Sounds good. When I got there, no one wanted to play with me. The attempt was useless, wow. but then... Someone approached me. Uh oh. oh dear. He had puppy eyes. It's and me. Was cute. <laughs> had puppy we eyes. We became playmates. Wow. Oh, Even it's gonna be like a kid board, from like the forties. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Dolls. He also invited me to play with him at his house. That looks good, doesn't That's it? A really nice yeah, house. Let's go. His house looked old. And yeah. Abandoned. I would say like it is. It hadn't been cleaned up for almost twelve years. That's very we precise, isn't it? Very precise. His garden. When we got there, I puked. What? I didn't know why at the time, but for some reason, I was disgusted. He wow. He didn't offer me water or anything. He just looked at me grinning. What the heck is going on? <laughs> Next time, you're going to sleep here too. That's a bit cr- Two What? Weeks after that upsetting experience, I went heck? looking for him. Her first experience of playing outside. Yeah, right? Nowhere. 1999. And when I opened it, I was shocked, scared. Oh, no. Sad. Oh, no. The boy that I played with went missing nine years ago. Damn, it's not 12 years ago, hey? And I saw a wow. shadow through my window. <laughs> I saw it closely. Okay. Hello. It was the boy. Just okay. Play. He does that. He looks happy. Look, he's good. Today, yeah. I'm 19 years old, and I still remember that part of and my I don't let my kid play outside. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, nice. These are really abrupt and random, it yeah, feels yeah, like. You know yeah. what I mean? I could just tell a horror story about anything. Yeah. Guys, I was working at my computer and there's a bang at the door. <laughs> my door is 12 years old. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on to the next one, guys. The man who escaped from prison broke into my house. Well, do we need to watch this then? We already know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> too descriptive. Here we go, nice. One All right, here we go. When I was about six or seven years old, my mom had gone to my older sister's recital in Georgia. Why is she thinking in that deep voice? <laughs> you know what I mean? Damn, that's impressive. <laughs> So she left me and my older brother, who was only 12 at the time, at the okay. sitter's house, which was a few blocks away from my house. Interesting. My sitter, who I'm going to call Bev, was 19. Okay. And she was pretty much the best kind of sitter to a six to seven year old boy could ask for. Okay. She'd let us play games and stay up watching TV. As long as we didn't bother her while she was on the phone. That's not a babysitter. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what the hell? We were watching TV, and we could hear something scratching the paneling on the side of the house. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Naturally, we blew it off as a stray animal. Yeah, as you did, so you know what I mean, yeah. we continued watching TV. A body hit the About window. We blew it off. To an it was nothing. Later, Bev ran into the living room and locked the front door and shut the Why was it not locked anyway? Yeah. We were curious as to Dang. what she was doing. Me and my brother, being kids, got scared and started crying. Child crying confirmed. Child from FNAF. Oh no, guys! Bev said everything would be okay. It was just a peeping tom. Uh, just so a peeping tom. It's a guy went called to Tom. Parents' room with the Nintendo and some snacks. Why the parents got the Nintendo? She said stay put and not to touch anything we didn't bring into the room. So don't touch the Nintendo. A minute later, after That's like a GameCube. The room, we heard a loud crash and glass shattering in the room below us. And a scream. The oh, sick my oh my god, god look at him! From the walkway through the guest bedroom window. Okay. He managed to get in. Just got that one bit of light on his face. I yeah, I was gonna say. into the room and pulling us into the closet and telling us Oof. we were going to play a game of hide and seek and to be very hmm. quiet. And that's one way to tell she kids to be very quiet. the closet and locked it from the outside latch. But then that looks like there's someone in there. Disappeared. Give yeah, some reason I feel to break like this in. Is a cover up story to Several just get a boyfriend in. Yeah. <laughs> man screaming. Come out, come out wherever you are. That's a really I only want to play. His voice doesn't match it. <laughs> yeah. it doesn't. Hey guys. Hey, what's good? Bathroom across from the closet. Look at this. Look at that hair trim though. Yeah, man. It's like a punisher of yelling something at the man. Okay. It was something like the police are on their way. You better get out of my house now. <laughs> Then we could hear loud headphones okay. sprinting out of the room, 
Okay. And then sirens wailing in the distance. I mean, what did he think was going to happen? You break into a house, like, you know? Thud on the ground below us. Uh-oh. She good? Bev had managed to find an old wooden bat. Okay. As the man turned a corner to go out the front door. Oh, God. Bev she clobbered him? Hey, man, who's going out the front door? Oh. Man the floor. Good. She got done for murder. He got up and tried chasing her outside. But the, the cops had already arrived. And <laughs> Still holding his arms there. <laughs> Damn. It got me. Well, there you go. And took me, my brother, and Bev back to my house. Okay, it's not your house, it's your mom's house. A few years later, she explained that the man was a known sex offender and had escaped from prison. The anime. Report, so they say, uh? He was said to be carrying a rather large knife in his pocket. Dang. And had a Saturday night special tucked away in the waist. What? Of Saturday night special? What's that all about? Two for one? <laughs> yeah. Two for you Tuesday? Curry and what an is this? <laughs> an Asian meal. What? Yeah, the Saturday night special over at the Indian house. It was so good. The food was amazing. Yeah, three pictures for the price of one. All right, next one then. Empty dark parking lot horror story. Oh, God. How? What? what was the catch? Okay, that was just a music playing my loud, name guys. Is Jasmine. It's all right. One night, my girlfriend and I were getting. Oh, here we go. We were going to head out for a night of fun. We got in the car, and I don't know what got into us, but we were feeling very flirty and decided to park at a parking lot to do our thing. What? In a car? We were in the hey car. Man, doing you gotta do it's a nice BMW, do. to be fair, I was though. On her in the driver's seat while she had the seat reclined. Jesus. When we were moving around, I accidentally honked the horn with my butt. I looked at my girlfriend and told her, "Hope that didn't draw any attention." What about the having sexual she clothes said, on? Yeah, okay. I know. It's like one in the morning. Oh my god! Yeah. Everyone is awake. <laughs> so we continued. This is strange not. animation, isn't Three it? Minutes yeah. Later, I put my head up to fix my hair. And He's not very lucky, right. are they? To be honest, no. I saw like knocking over water drop. and stuff. Like honestly. There what? was a man on his knees, oh. just watching us. I just had the same <laughs> fun in the other car. Oh, help! Into the passenger side. Wow. Screamed and told her to drive off. <laughs> drive! <laughs> my girlfriend was girlfriend's got the composure completely. The, up. the man got up and put his hands up. Oh, zombie! Man. I got the most sickening feeling when I saw his hands were covered in blood. Uh -huh. Ew. My girlfriend yeah? quickly locked the car door. Wait, you didn't lock the car doors off. when you were doing that crap? Yeah, yeah. The told us, don't panic. I told my girlfriend. <laughs> well, have you just been stabbed to death? Yeah, he's nearly dying. Yeah. Back, seeing his face get all mad and quickly walk away from the area. Okay. Oh. As we were driving off, I was sitting there asking myself if he <laughs> murdered someone. What the <laughs> hell? So my girlfriend yeah. decided to drive back to see what the man. Her, his girlfriend is very to, brave. I yeah, I know, right? Help. When my girlfriend and I went back, we started we saw again. Two cops <laughs> the area, coming from different directions. Okay. We were looking at each other, trying to figure out what was going on. Get back in the car. That don't feel right. When we drove back into the parking lot, he was gone. I don't know what he needed or why he had blood on his hands. Okay. But ever since that night, I always made sure my car door. <laughs> Wait, but it was walking off. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> It's gonna, it just cuts out abruptly again. Yeah. Uh, guys. Oh, I guess it gets to the point and then gets it done. Just get just get a hotel room, basically, yeah, next yeah. time. Stay safe. Come on. Double ganga. How do you ganga? I don't know. Double ganga, Go I think. Double ginger. What? This That's racist. When I was 18 years old and I oh, did it. School. Oh, boy. It was an ordinary night. Okay. My dad worked the night shift, so we all decided to sleep in my parents' room. Okay. I was with my younger brother who was 15 years this old. This guy just shut up. My younger yeah. sister who was 11 He's years old. He's telling them the story now, isn't he? Yeah. My parents' room was a small, purple, square shaped room, which also had a bathroom. The bathroom's door was across from the bed. My younger brother and I slept on my parents' bed <laughs> while my mom shut and up! my yeah. sister slept on the floor. Before sleeping, we all had a short conversation, and after that, you we went to sleep at 9 p.m. Okay, not too late then. At 2 a.m., I was awakened by a strange sensation. As I opened my eyes, I had my eyes fixed on the bathroom door. Oh, which what? Was cracked open. To my surprise, I noticed a black figure, which looked exactly like my younger brother. Oh, the boy. figure stood there with his arms crossed, watching. Hmm. It's like However, the evil brother with the glasses. Ninja. Yeah. At that moment, I froze. Okay. I moved from the bed, and I was scared that if he opened his eyes, he would have red or bloodshot eyes. I decided Damn. to quietly turn my head to the other side of the bed to see if Good it idea. was indeed my brother. My heart sunk to my stomach when I realized that my brother was still asleep next to me. So the many hell? thoughts oh. kept racing through my head. Oh. Who is this person? Oh. Why is he here? Nande. How could he look you exactly like my brother? There's a lot of things that could be explained in these stories. Yeah. What I saw, 
A few minutes later, Could be sleep paralysis? Yeah, he's dreaming. Eyes, it's sleep paralysis. Okay, no, I don't know about that one. Still looking right into my eyes. Jeez, it's gonna fart. Yes, you see turd drop on his face. What the hell is going on? How do you not feel him get on the bed though, right next to you? Yeah, it's gotta be sleep paralysis. Where is that? Good. I guess. To sleep worked, and the next thing I knew, it was morning. Sleep paralysis. I, up, I wonder if I, I can do that. Force myself to sleep. My After holding it inside for a bit, I gave up and told my mom about the incident. Okay. I almost froze when she said she saw the same exact figure and witnessed oh. what happened. What the heck? She didn't help. We both saw the same black figure that looked exactly like my brother. What the heck? He was my brother's twin. My brother's brother. My brother's brother's brother. We finally moved out. After the move, we told my dad about this story because he doesn't Damn. like hearing Damn. creepy stories. So we kept it a secret until we moved. He surprised wow. us by saying oh. we were not alone. They're not the men in this he universe are pussies. No, everyone see it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so anime. It is. It really yeah. is. Oh, oh my oh. God. I love this. This is fantastic. There we are. There we are. Do you know what's bad, though? The fact what? that the mom also saw the, the boy there when he was obviously be, like getting stood over the top of her, she didn't help her son. <laughs> yeah. let's, let's think about that for a second, yeah. guys. There's a problem with that family. Like, come on right now, you know? You gotta protect, you gotta protect, but no. That is a problem you right protect, there. She attack, but most importantly, she don't protect. But she, he gets attacked. Because of that, I'm out. I'm gonna dip down here, Baz. I'm gonna go drive through a creepy woods with brushes. Guys, if you know more about that first story, Get in touch. Call the place. That's a really bad story. I think it's real, <laughs> don't you? Yeah. <laughs>